Good afternoon, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 21st of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app like the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, then, so we start the week with a gap higher again. It seems certainly seems like it's a gap higher almost on a daily basis now, uh, given the US markets and European markets certainly have a not necessarily US markets, but European markets certainly have been surge, surging ahead with uh, a new high on the CAC and the FTSE 100 as well. German DAX is off on due to holiday, so that certainly isn't leading at present. It certainly seems that the FTSE is taking advantage of the um, higher oil prices, a weaker sterling. Sterling certainly making a new low as well. Uh, political uncertainty certainly isn't having any impact either in regards to Theresa May. Potential revolt isn't having any impact either. Brexit isn't having any impact either. It certainly seems like the combination of higher oil prices and a weaker sterling even though there is related to Brexit and the uncertainty going forward, certainly seems to be some sort of secret elixir now for the FTSE 100 with it making a new high. Okay, so in terms of uh, the markets then, so main, the main news uh, is with regards to China and uh, the uh, situation uh, with regards to the US. Uh, the trade war certainly seems to be averted for now with Mr Mnuchin certainly stating that uh, they've paused the tariffs and now they're going to come to some sort of viable solution and work out some sort of strategy in terms of uh, reducing the uh, trade deficit, especially from the Americans' perspective. That certainly has sent the uh, US markets certainly gapping higher, which in turn obviously has helped European markets push higher as well. In terms of other news, there's nothing really major out of European markets today, so nothing really to focus on. So let's just quickly straight jump to the FTSE 100, okay? FTSE 100, as you can see on the 60-minute chart, we still remain in this bullish channel. We've been in this bullish channel for quite some time now, folks, okay? Uh, it's, it's amazing how this bonus channel certainly has been respected thus far, uh, but certainly take it as such. Okay, so we have hit the upper level, upper levels around the 7845, 7850, and then we reverse quite sharply ever since. So watch out there. And the daily chart, again, you can clearly see it's a clean breakout thus far. Let's see if that can continue. 10 minute chart on the uh, FTSE 100, you can see that we certainly rejected the 7850 zone, hit the pivot at 7820. Now, any potential reversal, I'm looking to potentially short. Okay, especially looking to target the unfilled gap below. Okay, as well. Okay, so the unfilled gap, given the Friday's close, just to uh, clarify there, was around 7780. And as you can see now, we've certainly shot higher, uh, almost 70 plus points since that potential uh, gap. Okay, and given the fact that Friday's pivot low was 7750. So very impressive, very, very, very impressive. Even me as the BOB Broadbent, his comments certainly didn't... Uh, didn't have any impact in the market or even the signaling potential weaker growth going down the line and obviously uncertainty regarding interest rates and that certainly isn't uh, isn't having any impact whatsoever on the FTSE 100 so again very very impressive in terms of the French CAC let's give you an insight there again we made a new high ever since then you put a bearish engulfing candle in though so bear that in mind uh, the I was actually expecting that topping tail to hold from Friday and that hasn't been the case especially given the fact that the Euro USD certainly has made a new low you have the unfilled gap below though, watch out there. So you've got 5615 is the unfilled gap. We've hit a pivot high of 5660 so far. Very, very impressive. Very impressive on the French CAC, but is showing weakness. Same with the Euro stocks. That's the trade that I've just taken now to short the Euro stocks, looking for it to potentially move lower. 10 minute chart, obviously, you can see it rejected the 3585. And obviously, you've got 3595 as doubled top. So looking for a lower high here. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the status quo in terms of European equities. It certainly seems to be all about the euro. The euro certainly is putting in a bottoming tail, bouncing quite sharply there, as you can see here, doing quite an impressive bounce from 1.1720, uh, 1 1.1720. So again, we have hit 1.1780, quite an impressive thrust. So watch out for the euro advance there, which in turn obviously is indicating negative for European equities. Okay, so that's really a summation of European equities, looking for the full suit potentially to hold that double top and make a lower high, and then look to target the gap below at 7780. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus. And be sure to visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye.